an 11 year old trans girl. My daughter Edie first came out to us as trans when she was six years old. The sixth grader is about to have a tiny medical device implanted in his left arm. Cut this up. Jack's dad and mom are at his side. The implant stops female puberty and will keep Jack from growing breasts. Why are trans kids becoming more common? In my last video outlining why Gen Z is so gay, I literally was talking about gay, like the LGB. Now when it comes to the TQ plus side of things, especially regarding Gen Z and Gen Alpha, that's a whole nother story. In this video, we're going to watch and react to trans kids, and what you'll quickly find is that they all have something in common that will explain probably why it's on the rise. And before we dive into this video, I have to point out that I did make a Patreon, and for right now, the next 30 days, it is up for a dollar a month. So be sure to join, you get all my content early, there's a lot of benefits to it, there's already a ton of you all in there. I'm so thankful for the support over there. So be sure to join a Patreon, a dollar a month, lock in while you can to the OG fam. We just jump right into it. What you'll find is that a lot of it has to do with the parents. Like a lot of it is this attention seeking parents that are pushing this trans ideology on their children. And it's sad. It honestly is sad because it's like, just let your child be a child. Like it's okay. If your child likes doing a little girly thing here and there, then whatever. If the guy, child likes doing guy things, it's fine. They're literally erasing what it means to be like a tomboy or a tom girl. But even then, why are you imposing that your child's trans that early on? That makes no sense to me. Nor or do I think it's okay or that it should be right or hell even legal to transition your child in that way much like another video I did talking about child drag queens when you're transitioning your child you're leading them down a path that ultimately goes to irreversible change an 11 year old trans girl made history on Saturday as the youngest ever grand marshal of the Orlando pride parade see I don't think children should be at pride I really don't I don't think children should be at pride festivals because nine times out of ten it's very inappropriate very sexualized and it's just not a place for children to, to be. Of October, Dempsey Jara rode in a convertible through the city center for Orlando's Come Out with Pride Festival. She told reporters she would continue standing tall despite the recent wave of anti-LGBTQ plus laws in Florida. And see, that annoys me too when they're like the anti-LGBTQ plus laws. No, sweetie. They're anti-TQ plus. Not even anti-TQ plus. Really, it just goes down to allowing kids to be kids because when you're 18 and up, you can do whatever you want. So if we're going to destruct this whole anti-LGBTQ movement, it has nothing to do with the LGB, the lesbians, the gays, and the bi's has nothing to do with them. The TQ+, plus, it does have to do with them, but it has to do with the minors. Because when you're an adult, you can do whatever you want. Posting to Instagram, she said, yesterday was the best day of my life. It's not easy to be a constant target of hate, but I remain visible because I want other trans kids to know there is such joy in being your authentic self. Dempsey told reporters at the event, it's about being true to myself. It's about embracing who I am even when the world tries to tell me otherwise. And let these kids be kids. Get that kid off of social media and just let the kid just go outside and have fun. But instead, you got this kid on social media, having a whole page, being a grand marshal at a pride parade because they're a trans star as if a kid's ever gonna like just leave all that, you know? Like, you know how impressionable kids are and that's why we protect them. That's why we don't say that they can give consent to certain things. Like a child can't smoke, they can't drink, they can't vote, they can't get a tattoo. It's all these things children can't do, but they can't consent to SEX because they're minors. And we know that they are not able to, to make mature decisions like this and, and transition is one that is very serious. That's a big reason why trans kids are on the rise and why you do see some parents of trans kids being very vocal in protecting that because it's making them a crap ton of money. Millions of followers grifting on that they have a trans child, constantly making content with the child, constantly just, just just again pushing this ideology on them and it's so weird to me because there's some things that we protect 
and then there's something that we don't. Like if I get word that my neighbor is abusing their child, locking them in the basement or beating them, the child can go to jail, not the child, the parent can go to jail and get in trouble. But if I say, hey, this parent is like manipulating their child and like putting them down a path that's ultimately gonna lead to, damn it. Uh, I don't understand how I'm even talking about this. I don't, I don't understand how I'm talking about this. It, 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 oh. I don't like making trans kids content. I make it because I want people to know that it's real. I want people to, to you know, watch this content and be like, wait a minute, I kind of changed my opinion on that. I'm not really vibing with that. In order to protect the children, because nine times out of 10, the people that are against it have nothing really wrong with trans people. They may not like what they do, but they understand that it's a free country and they can do whatever they want to do. But when it comes to minors, like I've always said before, that's when it all changes. It's what I need. After Eddie's first gender therapy appointment. <sighs> Am I the only one that's dumbfounded by this? I can't be. The transitioning your kids, having them go through gender therapy appointments and reaffirm who they are. And, and, and this is gonna be one of those things that we look back in a hundred years and say that was completely wrong. Because at what point did we really start listening to children? This feels like mental gymnastics. I feel like I'm going crazy. I genuinely do. To try to unpack why some parents just think it's normal and okay to take what well, let's go back to this last video yeah the kid was none but three or four and you're already were transitioning it like to me this is child abuse like this is equivalent to beating your child because like i said before it's leading them down a path to ultimately transition and to ultimately go through with these things and it's life altering and life changing procedures, especially if you start younger with, you know, double mastectomies and all the, the puberty blockers. But this goes down a very expensive and very dangerous route fast. Cause even in that video, what we saw is them allowing the kid to be way more feminine, really encouraging it, buying them all these things, pushing and pushing and pushing it. And then now the kid is saying that kids came out as trans and now it's a she and going to gender therapy appointments. Like, are we not going to listen to the people who have detransitioned? Are we not going to pay attention to the people who actually regret transitioning to begin with, especially as a child? Are we just going to ignore the amount of detransitioners and the amount of trans adults who talk about how much of a financial burden that this procedure is and how lifelong prescription to medicines and pills and even like diseases that can come up and, and more medical crisis like no one's considering or thinking about that from the surgeries to the medicine it all costs a ton of money and something else that costs a ton of money to a lot of people out there is the amount of interest that people are paying on their debts we all know getting in debt is easy but getting out not so much. The anxiety and the stress of trying to get out of debt can be soul crushing, but thanks to today's sponsor, PDS Debt, they have you covered. PDS Debt is offering customized options for anyone struggling with credit cards, debt, medical bills, personal loans, and much more. PDS Debt, which is a top rated company on Google and has an A plus on the Better Business Bureau, provides options that consolidates your debt into one monthly low payment. Everyone with $10,000 or more in eligible debt qualifies and there is no minimum credit required. Bad and fair credit is accepted because again they're here to help and they understand that everybody's in different situations and let me be clear different things work out for different people when it comes to their personal finances and it's apparent based off of the reviews based off the people that i know who have actually used them pds debt does actually care about getting their clients out of debt and on a path to financial freedom just check out all the reviews of people who have actually used them as a tool to help them with their financial situation all the proof you need is right there and thankfully pds debt is offering you a free debt assessment and it only takes 30 seconds. So go ahead and head over to pdsdebt.com slash Amir to get your free debt assessment today. Windows down empty streets, you were all I used to know. You and I forever, forever ago. Again, another parent with millions of TikTok followers using their kid for money. It's like the new, it's like child acting. It's literally like the dance mom, the, the child actor parents. Like it's just messy. It's disgusting. Oh. This has nothing to do with the children. Literally has nothing to do with the children. If anything, I just feel really bad for them. This is the parents. This is the parents not raising their children. And if they are raising their children, they raise them to be something like this. But they're not raising someone that is is just. When I look at that kid, I just feel really sad for them, for future them. Maybe it's because sometimes I do wish that I grew up with just very good parents in my life and knowing that there are children that are growing up with parents, but they're growing up with parents like this, 
it, it just it bugs me because it's like damn i don't want anyone to go through what i went through as a kid but you'd be better off not having that mother as a parent like i feel so bad because of all the people who detransition and all the people who who are just screaming from the rooftop how bad this is and is going to be later down the line. It's not okay. Are you excited to see grandpas? Again, same family. Evan rarely sees other boys in dresses. Okay, so this video is from before the video we just watched and the kids being referred to as Evan and as a boy. But just like the other family we saw, now the kids like, actually mom, I'm trans and I'm a girl. What is happening? Like there's a certain level of allowing feminine things, but but if a kid really wants to be that feminine, they just gotta wait till they're an adult, I'm sorry. Like it's possible to still be a boy in like feminine things, but going this far, y'all. <laughs> what is the old gaze? I've seen them before. Get your... I'm done. One, get your hands off that child. Two, where the, the parent, literally, I was just about to say, where's your parents at? But your parents is right there filming the situation. Some of you people need, to, we need to have license. I'm sorry. If, if gay men gotta go through all this trouble to get a kid, so do the straights. We need to lock it up, lock up the cooter cats, and we need a license to have a kid because this is delusional. This is abuse. Get, ugh. there's so many things to unpack. This picture is too much. This freeze frame, there's a lot going on. We need you to get your arms away off the kids, one. Mama, I need you to get your son and leave. Three, these old gays, just go be old gays and not like encourage and like hype up this, this. <sighs> oh, these trans kids. It just leaves me so dumbfounded. It literally does because it's not that hard of a concept to just understand how damaging this could be and how a kid cannot actually consent to something like this. It's not rocket science. Let me know in the comments below, is it? Is it rocket science? Because apparently you got all these old people that are agreeing with it and you got the parents behind the camera really pushing it, but they, I mean, they are getting the check. But like the kid, <laughs> Transitioning kids just needs to be illegal. Has nothing to do with trans people. If you want to be trans, do it when you're an adult. When it comes to children, there's a reason why we have... <sighs> there's a reason why we have consent laws. There's a reason why we don't let children do certain things because they're not mature enough to understand what's going on. And this is one of those things. And it's not that hard to understand why this is not okay. In a world of green, just like a dream, you and I stand in... Okay, so this video, they have a... 13, 14 year old kid. This is a parent's page. Again, how many followers does this person have? 125,000, oh, here we go. The parent has a 13 to 14 year old F to M, female to male trans kid. Wild and free with petals so golden. The sun's warm kiss, a love so strong a bliss. Whispers of the breeze, I just feel like there's a lot of parents out there that are raising very weak-minded children. And truth be told, I feel like there's a lot of parents out there that are not leading their children down the right direction and down the right path. And obviously it's coming from me, someone that doesn't have kids, but if someone, if I'm seeing someone beat their child, I know that that is wrong. When I see someone transitioning their child, I say that that is wrong. I think it's perfectly fine. You know, when you're, again, like I've said throughout this video, when you're an adult, do what you want. But until you're 18, we're, you're still growing. And I'm just leaving it there. And I don't want you to make this drastic of a change in your life just so that you can feel happy. When in reality, all teenagers go through a phase where they're just not happy and they're depressed. And they, they, it, it's a thing, okay? Godspeed, it's a way, it's a trust. We'll be done eventually.
I feel like a broken record at this point. Out of all the topics that I do talk about on this channel and that we go through, this is the one that pisses me off the most because I just care so much. I, I really feel bad for these kids. It's like, what if the kid is just a feminine gay boy? Plot twist, hello. What if, the, what if that's just what it is? It's like, oh. So that's a kind of I just want to tell you guys that I love dressing up my dresses. I love doing makeup. I love getting ready. I love doing ponytails and my hair and everything. I just want to tell you guys that it's okay for boys to be dressed up like girls and for girls to dress up like boys. I just want to tell you guys that and I just also want to tell you guys I can't be doing it for you no matter what you do. Look at this kid looking at the mom behind the camera for approval. In other videos on this TikTok page, you have the mama saying, go, go. Again, it's this delude. Ooh, these sick parents trying to grift off their children. I mean, are you kidding me? This is just not right. This whole page, y'all, this whole page of the, this person, this Kellen Patrick Beauty, is this, he, the little kid does makeup, and it, again, like every other child we've seen in this video, they're like slowly going from just like a feminine boy to like a full-on girl, as if there's no middle ground. Like these parents are going zero to 100 real quick, and then trying to get a check off of it. It's wrong. The sixth grader is about to have a tiny medical device implanted in his left arm. Cut this up. Jack's dad and mom are at his side. Oh, jeez, I'm really Jack tripping. Jack, 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 doesn't take a genius to realize that I'm not a girl. An estimated 1.4 million adults in the U.S. identify as trans, 150,000 teens. But figures for younger children are largely unknown. Here in the Bay Area, there are at least six clinics for trans kids. UCSF serves about 800 children at its three clinics. Stanford sees 300 kids. Kaiser Permanente wouldn't tell us how many patients it sees at its two centers. But we do know there are more than a thousand trans children served at the other four clinics. Some kids started therapy at three years old to transition. We're done. I, no, we're not. <laughs> done. X. I'm not doing this three-year-old. I don't even know. We're done. The video played. The video's old. There, here you go. Here you have it. I'm flustered. I'm irritated. I'm pissed. That's what it is. A lot of the, it's these parents, these delusional, decrepit parents, given it. A lot of what we've seen <laughs> in this video is parents leading children down a path of destruction and manipulation and probably a lifelong journey of regret. The fact that those parents really sat there and injected them kids with all this stuff so they can stop growing breasts and, and really halt what their body is doing, just so the kid, the, if the kid is growing, let the kid grow up, and then when it's an adult, they let the kid figure out what they want to be. No kid, I don't know a kid that really likes puberty to begin with, but it's a part of life. It happens, okay? All people go through things that they don't like. Puberty is just not fun for anybody. You get pimples, you stank. I'm sorry, girls are bleeding everywhere. Like, it's too much going on. The body changes. It's a lot. It is literally a lot. The emotions, but you got to deal with it. Every kid goes through with it. And you're dumbfounded to sit here and really think that as we're finding out now with birth control, that puberty blockers aren't going to have an effect on the body in a very drastic way. We don't know this stuff in, oh, this medical industry. Ooh, this medical industry is so dirty. Literally, it's like, if you're taking medicine to alter your body and the eggs and the hormones and producing this, doing that, that's definitely gonna have an effect on you. I'm sorry, like all things do, all things have an effect on your body. From weed to shrooms, to psychedelics, to Adderall, to nicotine, everything has an ad everything has an effect, okay? And there's good effects and the bad effects, especially when it comes to long term. And I'm tired of us living in this day and age and we, still, we really sit here and think as if the medical industry has never done 
done anything wrong to begin with. And that's going to be another video I need to work on. So be sure to subscribe for that. But I'm tired of this country really thinking that scientists and this medical industry have it all right and correct and they're never wrong and nothing is ever bad happens with them. And to sit here and have the audacity to transgender transition a three year old, you've lost. Ooh. All right. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure to join the Patreon for a dollar a month. <laughs> No, but for real, the Patreon's gonna be lit. It's already lit. I'm so excited and so happy with the uh, people that have gone over there. Much love to my supporters. If you want to support me, support me there. That's how you do it. Be sure to keep a lookout for future content down the road. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. Do know in life, I, as I guess again, says every video, you can be and achieve anything you put your mind to. I'm not talking about this trench. I'm about less life in general. Your goals, your dreams, your, your, your financial issues, everything, your, your health, family issues, relationships, whatever it may be. Do know that I wish you the best. As long as you have a positive outlook, tunnel vision, you're focusing on you and your own in yourself. You're focusing on your friend group and you know who's really good for you, who's not. You're paying attention to you know if your job is really bringing you value in your life. You're paying attention to are you really doing what you need to do for your side gig, whatever it may be. I hope that you're going after it. And at the end of the day, you're pursuing a life that is going to make you happy in the long term. So that's what I aspire for you. As always, leave a cloud emoji below with the topic you'd love me to talk about. Ooh, trans kids irritates me. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. Thank you for tuning in, and I will just see you in the next one. Deuces.